Thank you, Laura. Next, we have Martin Harry, um, who is the Annie Barnes Fellow and Tutor in Music at St. Anne's College and the John Bennett Lecturer in Music at St. Hilda's. His research focuses on composition, and he has composed numerous works, including the children's opera, My Mother Told Me, me Not to Stare. <laughs> he is currently working on a new CD recording, exercise book, to be premiered at a 5K run through the city of Reading in January 2016. <coughs> I'd like to extend a special welcome to Martin's knowledge exchange partner, Mark Prescott, a CLORE Leadership Scheme Fellow, runs SPARK, a cultural and creative agency. Mark's work spans cultural strategy, audience engagement and development, and programming and delivering major cultural festivals. He is currently working with the town of Reading on Reading 2016, a year of culture that will span a broad and diverse range of art forms and projects. Welcome to you both. So my name is Martin Harry, and as Kirsten suggested, my research is actually composition. Um, but this particular piece, I think, is the, probably the most extraordinary piece that I've ever worked on. And I would just like to ask Mark just to give the background to the whole of this commission and basically what Reading is planning for next year. Thank you. So great to yeah. be here. Um, so Reading 2016, uh, it, the idea of Reading 2016 is, is it will be a year of culture, what we describe as hopefully a year of extraordinary events uh, uh, and, and experiences. And the sort of um, strategic, serious point behind it is to try and uh, change perceptions of Reading, uh, introduce uh, uh, really uh, major uh, artists, uh, and new ideas, and get and get the people of Reading more engaged I in culture. There, across the year, there are twelve different themes, uh, one for each month, um, and some of those themes are sort of very discipline specific, i.e., reading in Reading, which sort of does what it says on the tin, <laughs> and, and 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 light Reading and dance Reading. But the year opens uh, with a theme which is slightly more uh, whimsical, which is called Get Fit for Culture. Uh, and, and the idea about that at the beginning of uh, the new year was to uh, to sort of uh, have a sort of clarion call to people who live in Reading to to at the new year when you sort of tr try and think of doing something different or new uh, is to get into the cultural habit to 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 to, to, to do something. Uh, and uh, one of the things that I was very interested in doing was looking at how one could think of interesting ways in which uh, to get people participating uh, and participating in a in a cultural experience uh, and uh, I talked to Martin uh, uh, about this and we we like the idea of well what how, how does how does sport and music where can that where can that fuse to, 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 to together and how can that be interesting as a composer and how can that be interesting as a festival director and how can that be most of all interesting as, a, as, an, in, as, as an audience for an audience and to engage them and so uh, I talked to Martin about this and he has come up with I think a really uh, the Americans would say neat idea um, uh, which is exercise book indeed well just first of all to say that probably unbeknownst to Mark when we had the initial phone conversation I was really very much physically in need of this commission um, and the whole idea of writing music in some sense to promote physical exercise has required me to do a kind of a regime of training um, so in a sense it's composer compose thyself um, has been very much a sort of a part of the, the original thinking so I mean, the reason why Mark approached me was I, one of my teachers actually created a piece for massed bicyclists. Um, and I didn't really want to repeat this. Um, but thinking of my own situation, I decided that what would be really valuable would be to create music for personal exercise regimes. So to literally create music at the right tempo that would promote running. And I very quickly found out that um, from my own personal experience, that there are a number of different tempi, depending <laughs> upon your, your willingness. Uh, and so I'm basically creating a CD's worth of music, um, with each track being a very specific tempo, connected to a specific type of jogging, or maybe very intense running. Um, and you will find, actually, already out there, there is an app by Spotify that actually listens to the beat of your run, um, we won't probably be listening to their running beats, but I'm, I'm giving an, a group of runners in Reading a choice of about 10 tracks, each of which will be specifically 
um, tailored to a, a kind of a gait. And I've been sort of stalking various runs, including the Oxford Half Marathon, um, and sort of determining really what people are, their own natural beat is. So on, we're actually recording a CD that will have a long-term purpose that I think um, Mark will also talk about. Um, but the main issue is that we're presenting this music at a launch event in Reading on the 30th of January. And I just like, would you like to talk a bit more about that? So, so on the 30th of January, we are inviting uh, people, and not only um, uh, uh, residents of Reading, but I hope to see a great many of you there on the 30th of January, um, to, take, to, to both take part in the premiere of Martin's piece, ex exercise book, as well as to, uh, completing a 5K run, jog, depending on the, the tracks listened to and, and, and the, the, the performances. And what I think is, what I think is great about this later on in the year, is that I'm hoping that the people who take part in that and, if you like, download uh, uh, Martin's music, we are encouraging them with through another uh, a partner, which is an organisation called Intelligent Health, to complete a number of five k runs over the length of the year, but hopefully also listening to Martin's music. And one of the things that's that why that's important from my point of view is that one of the things about new music and contemporary music is, is, is that sense of immersion. So there's always this sense of how can you persuade people to l listen again, <coughs> listen the third, fourth, fifth time, and the more you listen to the music, the more you get to know it and understand it and think different things about it and feel different things about it. And so one of the great, <coughs> one of the sort of, to me, elegant parts of the project is throughout <coughs> the whole of the year, almost as we're that promise about getting fit for concert, we're asking hopefully people through working with Intelligent Health to complete a number of 5K runs, which will be good for their health, uh, <coughs> uh, but also good for their soul in, in terms of listening to Martin's music and that repeated exposure. Uh, and, and that's something which is so difficult to achieve with, with, with new music. There's all that thing about the world, the premiere, the first performance, uh, <coughs> uh, and, and it's about get, you know getting the sort of third, fourth, fifth and sixth hearings. Just to say that the event itself on the 30th of January would be almost like a theatrical spectacle with people <coughs> inside a stadium running at their own tempo, leaving, going around the park, and there'll be instrumentalists, <coughs> percussionists, singers who will be <coughs> performing outside in addition to the music that the people are listening to on their headphones. So it will be a very complex and very rich event. And just to say as a final thing that one of the big challenges about doing this piece is not only to compose the music, but to do the couched 5K running programme myself, mm -hmm. so that I hopefully will be there uh, in amongst the runners. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.